All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on to episode number three for today. In the last episode, we almost finished our 2v2 matches. We're at seven out of 10. And in 3v3, we have four to 10. So we haven't gotten too many 3v3 matches, but hopefully in this episode, we get enough to finish our placements for 2v2. I'm imagining we're probably gonna be sitting in gold to platinum, but we'll have to see. But of course, before we get into the games, we've got the meme of the day. And today we have Diamond Scar with Herod G. Garrett G with an afro. This should be interesting. All right, so pretty straightforward. We have Garrett here, and I have an afro, but I did want to use this picture of him. It's a little more up to date. I had an older one that I'd, I've been using a couple times whenever I do these memes, but I think I want to use this one, but unfortunately, the, the photo doesn't really frame that well. So what I have to do here is use AI again, I think, to content-aware fill, and this should kind of, like, figure out what, what it needs to do based on the background. So I'm going to get rid of Garrett in the photo, and then it should just use the wall to kind of figure out what to do. And you can see here, this is what it's generating which is actually perfect now if i add him what happens does it make anything it doesn't really doesn't really have any problem with this so yeah we can just do this hit okay and there we go just like magic a brand new wall that's much taller all right let's bring this bad boy in there uh he's, he's playing some rocket league as you can see with the classic energy he's got glasses on already maybe i should remove the glasses from this photo i can um put this on his head right now, this is all right but i think when you think Herod g what do you think you think a lot of hair, right? So like, I'm thinking, what if I just did like something like this? So if I, if I go, if I go like, I just laughed and I messed up my, my drawing. That's okay. Okay. What if I did this on a new layer and I said content aware fill, but I, oh, oh God. Okay. Well, uh, what if I like remove all this? I only want to worry about the hair. Is this going to work? <laughs> it's, um, I think it's working. I mean, it definitely made more hair. Yeah. I mean, does it, does it, it doesn't really look like the ends of the hair. Honestly, what if I copy this and like apply this to the edges? Okay. So now I kind of want to soft erase. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. Let's export that and uh, call it a day. All right. So we got our eighth game here. We have Stoke Doc and Will, both at around 500 MMR. And we have our teammate at Ta with 479. So. Not a very high level game here. So they do miss. If I see my teammate delaying his kickoff a little bit, I'm going to stay back and wait. This guy does miss. He tries to go for the reads. I sit behind the ball now. Okay, my teammate uh, got in the way. That's okay. This ball's going up the wall, so you can kind of sit with this and wait for it. And there we go. Let's see what Stoke does here. Great cut. Okay, my, my teammate really wants the ball. So I'm just going to... Yeah, that's tough. I'm going to sit in front here. Stay close. Really, I, I never really see anybody at this rank like really kind of like sitting in positions to wait. And I feel like even when I started early on in the game, that's kind of what I was doing was trying to sit close. Now, this is quite open, so I'm just going to roll this. See if they save it. Good save from Will. Yeah, players are really not... Is my teammate AFK? Okay. It seems we still have the problem. Is this guy... Oh, he's, he's lagging. Oh, no. So I don't think this was on purpose. It's a great shot down the field. But once again, I'm alone. If you ever find yourself in a two a, a 1v2, though, I've, I've talked this last episode. Just keep yourself spaced out. Let them make mistakes. And wait for them to pop the ball to you. So I'm just going to keep popping the ball. I don't know if I should score. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I kind of have to play, like, if I'm going to win or hopefully maybe my teammate comes back. See what they do here? Oh, he popped up me. Oh, my gosh. Okay. He missed. This guy's going to hit off the corner, which is totally fine. I'm just going to go for this. And then I can just guide the ball in. They, they fully overcommitted, so I should be able to score that off of their very aggressive challenge into the wall. And uh, we just take it down the field. We're very comfortably. You're going to find that um, players are going to challenge a lot in the corners. I can't go for this because they're going to have it. So I'm just going to wait for it. You're going to find that like players are going to challenge a lot in the corners. Like right here. He's going to maybe challenge this. And uh, you can just kind of let them hit, the, hit it into the wall. Okay. So that once again, I can use this bounce off the wall to stay close to the ball and then wait for it here. It's going to spill in the mid, but they might have it first. So I'm just going to wait and stay close. He might be behind me. Yeah, he's trying to bump me. So in this situation where the ball is really close, you can kind of 
even up the wall. I do give it back to them, though, in doing that. Alright, there we go. Let's see what they do with this. It's a little awkward. Once again, they challenge in the corner. See how, like, they're not waiting for the ball to spill into mid? So they don't give themselves the space to work with the ball. I'll probably just play with this one one goal here. And if they make a good play, they, they can score, but... Like, here, there's not a lot of... not a, There's not really any reason to panic. Might have a good shot here, though. That's going to be a good shot. I'll let it in. Don't need to panic, though. You can definitely just, like, wait for, wait for that. Or, or if you had a teammate, you could definitely challenge that earlier. But obviously, because I'm last man, I got I to gotta, gotta wait there. But I'm actually not going to go for this. Just going to wait for a shot. I'll pop off the wall. Looks like they might go for this. I'm just going to wait. I'll always try to read this bounce in mid. I'm just trying to get a good feeling of where it's going to pop for you. Now, uh, they've got two of their players. They're actually not playing too bad. They're... They're definitely rotating with each other. Let's see what this guy does with this. He might lose control here. It's in front of his net. It's a little spooky. Oh, he's trying to dribble. So this Will guy's going to have a touch here. I'll pop it up. So obviously I'm being very controlled with my touches and stuff. The big thing is not to panic. You have a lot of space with the ball. Alright, so we have a kickoff here. I don't think anyone's still flipping yet. I think people are mostly just driving to the ball. Um, but you probably should start trying to flip to the ball. Because this is a little bit faster and more efficient. He's trying to jump for the ball. He's got a good decent touch. I'm just gonna wait for them here again. This is the kind of setup I'm talking about. That guy was like waiting for uh, the ball uh, to spill around in the corner. And in doing so, like he can keep close. Like right here, totally fine to just sit close to the ball. And uh, just stay behind it on every, every play. Once again, this is in the corner. Totally fine if he tries, tries a challenge. Same with this guy. Now it's a little bit spooky if he goes over the net. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. See what Stoke does. Stay close to this. It's up in the air. It's a good try from Will. So I can read this bounce by waiting as as a, like basically as a shooter, but being bad at shooting. <laughs> as I always say, is just like play the position of that when the ball's spilling in the mid. Um, as if you are the uh, the person trying to score the goal, but just being bad at it. Now, this is in front of the net, and you did get a good bump, but I gotta stay in front of this. I don't know. Do I? They've been making decent attempts. I don't know if I should just give it to them. I my teammate did leave, but I keep losing every game because people keep going AFK, and I don't know what to do with myself. I don't. I don't know what to do. I feel bad. I don't want to. I obviously don't want to just score on these guys, but I don't want to lock them in an overtime either. I'm trying to go for a shot here. Yeah, man. I. I don't know. I. I feel bad taking the game. Like, but I. I made a decent chip here. I thought they were gonna actually save that. I just don't know what to do. Like. Let, honestly, I want I want to hear from you guys what I should do because I don't I don't know what to do with these games. It's just an absolute mess when I'm by myself and I'm not really able to like talk about what I'm doing around my teammate because there is no teammate. Um, but well played to them. They actually made some pretty good attempts at net and stuff. But obviously with my teammate leaving very early with the uh, connection being lost, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Either way, these guys were gold one and they did play pretty well. I think they're actually like mainstay golds. Um, with the 506 and the 477. Um. They, they definitely seemed like to have some good experience with like rotating and playing with each other um even though they were they were solo queue so not too bad let's get into the next game uh hopefully we have an actual full game ahead of us <laughs> who knows all right we actually have a teammate hopefully let's see if dingleton stays around uh, i'm gonna go for this oh boy hello dingle uh, let's look at i can go, probably go back corner here dingle's grabbing the back corner let's see if he wants to cut this that's a good shot opportunity, but it's off the backboard. Okay. I'm going to stay close to the ball here. There we go. Okay. These guys seem a little bit faster than the other players. So let's see what happens here. So I'm staying behind it. I'm going to go for a flick off the backboard. 
I can let this roll if I want to. Now, these guys might try to challenge this. It's a little spooky for me to go for this. So, I end up faking it instead. Just trying to stay close and be kind of on the ball a lot. I have possession of the ball here. Okay, my teammate has possession of the ball now. <laughs> I'm going to go for this. See if my teammate can finish it. Good try. A good boost steal in the corner would be good. Uh, he does miss it, but maybe he can get it now. Good. Okay, a little spooky, but once again, I know they both just committed. So I can take my time to use that, that ability to stop the ball and stay behind it. Now let's see what they do. They're kind of panicking. So Dingle hits it off the wall, which is fine. Might be difficult for them. They're trying to backflip into the corner. Got the ball in the corner. Now I'm going to wait for them to come into me here. And they do get a touch off the backboard. Oh, my teammates are going for it. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a great save for my teammate. I saw some people suggesting last season that I should do uh, keyboard only for the first little bit. And honestly, that is that is a good idea. But I'm basically playing worse than I would on keyboard anyway. See where my teammate is. I'm seeing him jumping. Always keeping an eye. Always use the right stick to see where your teammate is and stuff. If you're not, if you're a little bit confused, um, where they are, um, let's see if he wants me to like, go for this. There we go. If, if you're confused where they are, just use your right stick as like a way to like look behind you. Or that's a great shot. Nice one. Uh, you can use it to look behind you or to swivel it around. Obviously, on keyboard and mouse, it's actually one of the uh, disadvantages of being KBM. Is that you have no way of doing this. This is not possible on on uh on uh keyboard for some reason. There's I, I think it would be probably a pretty annoying if your mouse moved your camera. But it is a disadvantage, nonetheless. Let's see if Dingle can hit this ball. Just shoot it towards the net. I'm gonna hit this to the right. I'm around and see if Dingle can finish this. Great chip. Good try. I am last man here, so gotta be a little bit careful. The players are definitely moving faster. This could be a shot. I'll wait and see what he does. Good try. Good challenge. Once again, just staying between the ball and the player. Take a good chip off the backboard. It's going to be tough for Dingle. Ooh, big miss though. I'm going to try to leave this boost for my teammate. This might be sipping water's... Oh, it's in water's ball there. Good touch for my teammate. Hopefully he can follow this. That's a great shot. That's going to go in. Um, I could have probably been back, obviously, to like read that, but it was quite a fast shot at that moment. I'm not sure at gold you would be able to react to that. It's on target pretty quickly. But if you want to read those, you want to see the angle between the car and the like their car and the, the goal and try to cover as much as you can before it comes out. So my teammate was a little bit late to the uh, the uh, the play there. I try to hit this to the other side for my teammate. Oh, good try! Oh, wait, it dunked him. Let's see what they do with this? I don't know if my teammate's gonna go for this. I'm just gonna move back. I see that Choate's trying to go for this, so I'm just gonna wait for him. Okay, it's off the backboard. See how with immediately when someone is going for a backboard touch, I'm already going forward with the read of the ball. That's a great shot. Uh, I'm already going forward with the read of the ball to try and to try and meet that that ball as soon as possible. And at a higher level, uh, people are going to be ready for the shot pretty early. So I'm trying to read the angle between where the person would be shooting. My okay, teammate went for the back corner boost. Gonna wait behind. Good try. I'm gonna wait for this to come to me. And try and just pop the ball up with some boost. Boosting into the ball in like that little moment is going to change the momentum of the ball quite significantly. Because your base speed is pretty low. Okay, my teammate still wants this. So I'm just going to back off. I can challenge this now because the guy's still landing. Always keep that in mind that they can't really recover that well. This guy's actually decent in aerial. He's jumping around. I like that. Okay, good catch on the wall. This is coming to me here. So I'm just gonna pop it around. I didn't want to like go for the 50 there in case, uh, in case it went poorly. And the guy was trying to challenge me. Now the guy in front of me is waiting on the corner. I'm just gonna wait to see what they do. 
teammate rotates in a little bit, so we gotta be a little careful here. I'm gonna let him challenge for me. And then I'm gonna back up into this. Good try. And that's gonna be it. So we have a teammate this game and uh, actually went pretty well. That's gonna be game nine out of 10 for 2v2. So we only need one more to get our rank, which considering we were at 680 approximately, that looks like we're like high gold right now, I think. Uh, he wants to party up. Unfortunately, I I cannot do that. Uh, just solo queuing. I don't know if he's able to type, but either way, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, yeah, this should be 9 out of 10. There we go. So we got still 4 out of 10 in 3v3. I don't know why, but I can't find 3's matches. All right, so this will be our placement match here. We've got Void Siegel and uh, Jet Willy, who's really high ping. And we're getting people to start flipping at the ball here. So already we're seeing like higher level golds are already a little bit more consistent. They're doing wall shots. Great pass over the side. This guy's cutting me off, which is totally fine. We got aerials coming out. Ooh, okay, spicy. Hit this up the wall. See what they do with this. My teammate's pretty far back. He might be pushing up for this. Good challenge. Now, when I'm okay, what's happening there is I'm looking at Void Seagull, not the ball. I know the ball is already spilling into a good spot. Uh, for me to go for the ball, so I can just try to read the players instead. Yeah, this is going to go up the wall, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. And you can see how far away the players are on that play. Um, that they just kind of... Um, they kind of give me a lot of space. So I can use the space to try and go for the wall shot. It's a little bit scary for me to go for, because you can see, even though I made that touch, Ricky is not quite back yet. I'm going to stay with this here. Not going yet. There we go. Now they're going. Jet Willy's gonna be probably jump for this and touch it, make a touch. But not the greatest touch. I'm gonna hit this into the corner and see what happens with this. My teammate really should be up for this because it's too close to the wall. I've talked about this in the last couple episodes. When the ball is this close to the wall, there's not really like a lot you can do with the ball. So it's best you just wait. Wait for them to do something. Sometimes you want the opponents to make a touch for you. Um, instead of um, instead of trying to be the player to force the issue or force the ball into an awkward spot, uh, let you, let your your opponents pass the ball back to you because they have to clear out of the corner. Try this to the other side for my teammate. He ended up rotating pretty wide though. Just hit up again. See what happens. That looks like my teammate was smart and didn't go this time. He did go around the ball though. Okay, there we go. I guess we could pass. I like that. Give me a teammate can go for this. Great touch. Great, re great rotations from these guys, actually. These guys are... Oh, wow. Okay, so... Should we, oh, he's touching it. I would say this is a pretty much like what my fiance's games look like. So it's... Just take the shot. I'm just stay close here. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait behind here. These games are, pr are pretty much like a yeah, basically what like I seem to see gold games be like. Um, and most of the time it's like decent rotations. Like people are getting the rotations down. They're moving around, but there's not really a lot of like. No, I was gonna say thoughtful like touches, but it's more just like positioning based on what might happen in the future. It's more so just like, oh, I'm here now, so I'm going to go for the ball because I'm here. So Jet Willy should have this. going to go down the field. I see that voids backwards, so I can go for a touch here. And wait for them in the corner. This is an awkward ball for everybody in this. I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go for this. Let's just take the shot. I don't know why he's spamming me. Like, I'm definitely going to go for it. It's a little scary here. It should be all right. Okay, and then I can stay with this. So I'm staying close to the ball here. And then I see that they're waiting in mid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this over to Riccio. And unfortunately, he wasn't quite ready for it. He was waiting in net, which is totally fine. He's defending. But I was hoping that he might be ready down the field. Let's see if he wants to pass this to me. He's going for a touch. This is going to be in mid. So I got to be a little bit careful. Now, I don't want to be let this roll at the wall. So instead, I'm just going to use myself as a little barricade um, to stop the ball from rolling at the wall. And instead, put it back in the mid for myself. Close. It's going to bounce off the corner. I got a good read on this, so I'm just going to wait for it. 
Go for a touch off the backboard, see what they do. Willie's kind of panicking. I can get a few bumps here and see if this helps my teammate. I don't think he wants to get in here at, at this point. He does now, which is actually pretty smart. He's waiting for me to rotate out. This ball's gonna roll around the corner. If you're if you're feeling uncomfortable with the corner, you can come back to net like this and get a better approach. I don't think I'm gonna hit this to the left side. See my okay, my teammate's fully defending, so I'm just gonna hit this to the other side. I'm saying take the shot. I know he keeps saying take the shot. I think he's just like making sure that I know that I don't he's not gonna go. Which is totally fine. I like these aerials. It's quite like it reminds me of 2015. I, I like it. It's it's kind of fun. All right, so zero zero overtime. Now the reason why his aerials look a little bit funny is because he's not pulling his car back when he's going for it, and also I find that a lot of lower ranks they're like starting the aerial like really early. I'm gonna try and roll this around the wall and see what happens. They're bumping each other in the net. In the net. Do clear it forward. But this has been the most like rotational player I've seen. I like that. This guy's like definitely got a better eye for like when he should go for the ball and stuff. He's rotating behind. Okay, never mind. Okay, you can have the ball. <laughs> He's controlling it pretty well though. Hoping that he can bump him or something. Good bump. Okay. So that's the one thing too is that once players make a touch like that or like make a play where they bump the player off, they they tend to just keep continuing with the ball, but ends up making a, turning a good play into a bad play. Clear on the field. Jet Willie should have this off the wall. That's going to be a pretty tough read. He might make a touch here. But I got a lot of space. Oh, this ba ball bounced to me in the corner, right? And I'm going to force a 50 in here. Get behind my teammate. See what he does. He takes mid boost. So I'm just going to back up. Take this boost. Don't really need it, but... Wait for the shot. There we go. Probably Jet Willie to pop, pop this across. Gave me a pretty free touch in the mid, so I'm just going to pop it up. See what they do with this. Both of them. Get behind my teammate. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, so we waited a little bit long, but it should be okay. Okay. It's a good 50. See what, the, see what happens here. They ended up pitching against the wall. I have space here. I can let this ball roll to me in the corner and let draw them in for a challenge. Close. He loves saying take the shot. I appreciate it. I mean, I know he's just trying to like tell me that I can go for this. I'm waiting for his touch. I see this ball. Oh no. Okay. I was going to control that in mid, but my teammate wanted it. Still totally fine though. Okay. I want to go for this. Now these games going to overtime either tells me one like two one of two things, either I'm uh, either I'm like not playing enough offense, but I'm defending better than I probably should be, or that like the the game is more oh hello, or the game is pretty balanced, which is a good thing I think. It's a good fifty. This is, I'm gonna take a boost a little bit to make sure I take that. See my teammate takes this. It's an awkward ball for him, but he could probably go for it. That's, like, that's what I'm talking about. Rotating back like that, giving yourself some space. Both players go. Pop this up off the backboard. See if my teammate wants to go for it. So my teammate is playing very, uh, very defensive. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I didn't mean for that to be a goal, but we got the dunk. All luck, no skill. What the heck? I just got roasted. <laughs> I think he's, I think he chirped me because he was saying, take the shot. He wanted me to go and stuff. I think he wanted me to like barrel in more. That's wild. I just got, I just got, I just got roasted by a gold player. Well, we got platinum. We're platinum two division two. No 3v3 games in this episode, but definitely an interesting one. Uh, I think that I'm probably playing too slow in certain spots, but also too fast in other spots. I'm not really getting a good read on how I'm supposed to be playing. And that's probably because all I'm seeing is people are basically just like a heat-seeking missile 
on the ball and no one's really rotating actually Riccio was one of the most uh rotational players we've seen but then i got roasted by him so i don't like him anymore <laughs> i'm just kidding well hope you guys enjoyed definitely an interesting one um until next time have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one